Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from Gabrielle Calvo Caressi uh, from their book, The Last Time I Saw Amelia Earhart, uh, published by Persia Books in 2005. Uh, the poem I'm going to read is entitled The Wreck, and is in two parts, each of them uh, well, numbered one and two with different titles. Um, the Wreck. One, Margaret Fuller. I'd like to tell you how futile it is to search for a part of me to carry home. Comb, hairpin, cameo, all gone, settled on the ocean floor, but more importantly, not me at all. Not what you're really after, what's got you bent double in the dunes, hoping for any small thing to hold on to. I am everything now, the sand you sift your fingers through, the harsh wool coat that pools around you, the ache in your arms that won't stop their grasping. I am the boy you passed on your way to the ocean and the expanse of blue that made your lungs feel thin as robin's eggs. How you stood and stared and didn't know where to begin looking. How you stumbled for miles and slept fitfully on the shore. I am the world of salt you woke to. I cloaked your face, chapped your skin, whispered gone on every wave. And still you scuttled to the water's edge. You'll burn before you leave this place and curse me. You'll fill your hands with sand. Dollars cast their bodies on the water. I'll clamor and glint in your eyes, and you will not see me. 2. Henry David Thoreau Hairpin, comb, cameo. Is this all she comes to? A list made as I crossed through farmland cities, factory towns. Here's what I found instead. A boy standing in dark fields who watched my train pass, the way he waved goodbye. Men trudging home from factories, no one not one looking up as the train heaved and shuddered, America, America. I feared I'd never find her, past whole towns with my head in my hands, till ocean stretched before me, call blue. I knew it was over. She was gone, and I fell to my knees, scoured the shore to feel the lack of her my hands full of sand, dollars that I scattered on the surf, their bleak skeletons shimmering like trains deserting mournful towns. Um, and that was uh, Gabrielle Cavalcaresi from The Wreck. Um, if you enjoyed this, uh, this reading and this poem, um, please give this video a thumbs up and do check out the description of the video for more information about the author and where to purchase uh, their book or their books plural. Um, Gabrielle's work is absolutely gorgeous and fantastic and it's been a real honor to to read from this this first collection. Um, and I'm grateful for um, you know, just the opportunity to share uh, poetry and to continue to use technology to reach out and uh, and be able to to bring these poems uh, to you wherever you are. Um, let's see. I, I hope you're doing well this summer, and I hope you are finding more opportunities to engage with others and be in the world um, as things begin to return to some sort of normalcy. But I hope even still that we're connecting um wherever we are, uh, with others, um, throughout our country, throughout the continent, even into the world and, uh, taking advantage of, uh, the opportunities to do so and not to be so limited by geography and space, um, or even time. Um, in any case, I, uh, want to encourage you to, to keep, uh, reading and to keep creating. Uh, I'm Neil Aiken. This is the Hermit Poetry Series and, um, We'll be back again with more poetry and more readings in the very near future. If you like what you're hearing, subscribe to the channel and you'll be contacted whenever there's a new video up, which tends to be three times a week, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Um, so until next time, um, keep, keep writing, keep creating, 
And we'll be back again with more uh, poetry, new and old. Uh, Until then, take care and bye.